from the solar community representing the brave force. Your Excellency, we have Maboli Ura Adam representing the Wasipi Ura. We also have Salifu Bepo representing the Hanga community of the Savannah region. We have Bakari Ahmed Saka, Hanga representing the Yaz coming from the Yazori community of the Savannah region. Your Excellency, Gunjas, as they are, will always have their counterparts, the Queen Mothers. I wish to introduce to you the Mankuma Uriche, head of all Queen Mothers of the Gunja traditional area, Mankuma Uriche Azara Yagbun. We also have Damango Uriche Jinchi from Damango. We have the Bridge Uriche representing the Manti Uriche of BP. We have the Kansan Uriche Azara Veronica from the Bole traditional area of the Savannah region. Your Excellency, we also have the honorable members of parliament, both past and present of the Savannah region, well represented. Your Excellency, we have all the MDCs of the Savannah region well represented today. Finally, on the list, Your Excellency, we have the sons and daughters of the Savannah region. On that note, Your Excellency, I say thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much. That's the Registrar of the Gonja Traditional Council. Mr. President, this project being very dear to your heart, you assigned a Minister of State to take charge and ensure its successful completion. With your permission, I'd like to invite the Honorable Dan Kwekuboche, Minister for Regional Reorganization and Development. Let's welcome him with a round of applause. Your Excellency the President, Your Excellency the Vice President, Honorable Chief of Staff, Honorable Senior Minister, Chairman and members of the Council of State, the King and Overlord of Gonja Land Traditional Area, and other revered chiefs present, colleague ministers, honorable members of parliament, MMDCs, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, friends of the media. Mr. President, once again, I want to express my happiness in being part for today's program. And again, it marks a very significant milestone in the history of our country. We said it, and it is true, that the quest for the creation of new regions has a long history. However, in 2017, when Mr. Sub Mr. President took over power, you established the Minister of Regional Reorganization and Development and you were specifically asked to spearhead, spearhead the process of creating regions. Your Excellency, to ensure that there were thorough consultations and sensitization of the public on the process and modalities involved in the creation of the regions, you were asked to adhere strictly to the provisions of the Constitution. So we were guided by Article 4 and 5 of the 1992 Constitution. We had consultative meetings, first with our revered chiefs. We had meetings in May 2017 with the Western Region House of Chiefs, Brown Ahafo Region House of Chiefs, Vota Region House of Chiefs, and Northern Region House of Chiefs. Mr. President, in these meetings, we had meetings with the entire Regional House of Chiefs, not only chiefs in the proposed area. So all chiefs in these regions were consulted. Mr. President, the ministry also held consultative meetings with all members of parliament in all these regions, not only members of parliament in the proposed regions, all members of parliament, we had meetings with them. Mr. President, when finally you established the commission of inquiry, led by the eminent jurist, Justice S.A. Brobe, your 
ministry. Again, accompany them. The commission. the special role played by the presidency. Because it's important. And the promise we make to the people. I said it and I'll repeat it. The politicians, we are often accused of not keeping our word, not keeping our promises, and not keep keeping faith with the people who voted for us. In this occasion, I will not talk about other things. I want to concentrate on the one in my domain. I want to talk about three senior high school and others. But in this particular one, where many people thought that an attempt to pursue this creation of regions might bring some national tension. And so people even delegated the desires of our fellow citizens. In the face of all this doubt, Mr. President has the key leadership qualities to ensure that we went ahead. That of college allied with firm vision. Mr. President, I said it, I want to repeat. This quality that strengthens and puts steel in the endeavor of all men. Our president has the raw political courage, and we, who served under him, we had no choice but to respond to the courage and to help navigate the difficult political, social, and economic terrain required to make this a success. Being the first time we're undertaking this project and all the legal nuances involved, there were times that, can you believe, I go to Mr. President and I've been tried to also express my legal opinions. And uh, he will patiently take his red consist, uh, consistent, the, the consistent he has is as a red cover. He will take it, open it, and say that no, but when the consistent is subject to Article 5, it means that this is how you should go about it. <laughs> so we thank you for your guidance and your patience you gave to the ministry. Mr. President, I said this in the morning, and let me repeat. When we are all long gone and the history of our beloved country comes to be written, alongside all the things that make Ghanaians proud, we stand the courage of a president who dared to believe, dared to let his depressed democratic instinct, instinct result in action, and dared to keep a promise made, dared to take a stand. This is Mr. President. And we thank you very much for this. I thank the Yabora and all the eminent chiefs in Gonja land who received us when we paid visits to your kingdom, especially when the eminent jurist, Justice S.A. Brobis, Commission of Inquiry, paid you a visit. Some of them had traveled to our area the first time, and they enjoyed it. I'm sure if there's an opportunity for them to come again, they will come. <laughs> Mr. President, I also want to thank Ms. Justice Brobe and the commission members very well. Their work only did not end with the commission. They followed with keen interest even after they have presented their report to you, Mr. President. We had the occasion to make a presentation to the chairman and other members of the Council of State. Uh, Mr. President, they gave us a lot of advice, and continually the chairman of the Council of State always called to offer support and advice. We thank the honorable members of parliament, honorable MMDCs, and as the office of the chief of staff. When we called on him, on her, her office many times 
to, to, to give support for the project that we are embarking on. We are very grateful to Minister of Interior, the IGP, who offers security for the tours that the Commission of Inquiry uh, uh, undertook throughout the country. We are very grateful to the Minister of Information for the service rendered by the Information Service Department. We are grateful to the Chairman of the National Peace Council, who actually offered to have meetings with us and also to deal with possible fallouts doing this work in their regions. We are very grateful to them. Again, we thank all of you, the media, for your support and the way you help us disseminate information and to continue with the deepening of education. I thank my hardworking Deputy Minister and again, the staff of my ministry. About 20 people who were brought together from different ministries. We did not know ourselves, but thank God we bonded together and were able to undertake this assist. I'm very grateful, Mr. President, for this occasion. And to the Honorable Dan Kwekuboche as well, we are all grateful. Let's give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. It is time now to hear from the head of the delegation from the Savannah region. The Yagbongura speech will be read by Tuleura Bunyansu. But before he does that, it will be heralded with traditional appellations. Let's receive the Yagbongura speech with a big round of applause led by the appellations. Nana <laughs> Alambo he malama na na masama alamu ba bunge wili ya sini ni pa ya di ya wasa ye ye wanyi na ya mensa ni di wanya na na si wada wasi papa abrobi ya wasi mbwa wa mani ya.
our revered traditional authority from the Savannah region, Queen Mothers of the Savannah region, sons and daughters of the Savannah region, friends of the media, all protocols observed, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mr. President, the Savannah region is full of joy and elation to be invited once again to the seat of government affairs in the era of our democratic disposition of our beloved country, Mother Ghana. The sons and daughters of the Savannah region bring you our most gratified desires of facilitation from the Savannah region. Your Excellency, happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. The entire Savannah region is in harmony for the fact that our long cry, nightmare under your watch, has come elated. Are you cool, Mr. President? Your Excellency, barely two years ago today, you will recall that in this same hall, when the people of the Savannah region under my leadership submitted a petition to you requesting for a region to be carved out of the northern region, little did the faithless domain saw reality in the statement you made that day. Yebora, I have given you the Savannah region. What is left is your own, you and your subjects to satisfy the constitutional requirements of the 1992 Repu Republican Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. Mr. President, the foot soldiers of the Savannah region, men and women, the aged, the visionaries, sons and daughters of the Savannah region, and the entire enclave saw a star from the statement you made. Mr. President, your conscious effort and encouragement smeared smiles and joy in the people of the Savannah region to announce to you that the people of the Savannah region voted 99.5% yes for the creation of the Savannah region. We have come officially to say bravo, Mr. President. Bravo, bravo, bravo. God bless you. <laughs> Your gallant and unimaginable bold decision to listen to cry of our request. Mr. President, the teachings of our national constitution inject chiefs from engaging in party politics. I respect the wisdom of the framers of our constitution and I live strictly by the provision. However, we as chiefs are required by our custom and traditions to stand by the truth and give praise when it is due. It is in this spirit that on behalf of myself the Goja Kingdom, and all indigents of the newly established Savannah region that I commend you, the President of our Republic, Nana Adodankwa Akufu Ado, Garba, Yinaura, <laughs> Nana Osia Diayo, Prince Abu, Abu Dan. Abu Dani. Abu Dani. This is a new name recently created for the president <laughs> from the north. The name is Abu Dani. Abu Dani. He has adopted that name. <laughs> for your bold, visionary, and distinguished leadership. Sometimes in 1984, my customary brother, Yebunura 
Kurabasu of blessed memory, lodged the first petition for Indeed, under the Fourth Republic, Republican dispensation, Uh, uh, many presidents and political parties have promised the creation of this beautiful region. This evening, you have signed this region into effect. It will outlive you and I, but Mr. President, be rest assured, Gunja Land and Savannah region will forever be grateful to you for your strong and productive leader. to Damango a few days to the referendum to campaign vigorously for a massive year's vote. <laughs> you are tru truly a son of the Savannah region. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the Savannah region, officially, Mr. President, have handed Savannah region onto us. Let us support the government to propel the needed development that best fit Savannah region. Let us let the Savannah region be a success than a case to be uh, to the people of Savannah. <laughs> Mr. President, let me again congratulate you for putting the right personalities in the right holes. Your indefinable minister for regional reorganization and development Honorable Dan Kokuboche put all expertise to bear to facilitate the success of this project. It is therefore not a surprise the Honorable Regional Minister of the Northern Region, Honorable Salif Said, is known and called, you can be sure. <laughs> the name is not just a, a compliment, but a motivational tool for harnessing development. Yes. Mr. President, as if that was not enough, the MDCs of the Savannah region have demonstrated competence and passion in the success of this project. <laughs> to my own sons and daughters of the Savannah region and the entire Ghana, I say, Asan Ukushum. Thank you. Long live, Mr. President. Long live, the Vice President. Long live, Savannah Region. Thank you very much, Mr. President. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the words of the Yagbon Wura and the words of the people of the soon-to-be Savannah region. Shortly, we'll hear from His Excellency the President. But before we do, Mr. President, the people of the soon-to-be Savannah region have asked for some room to perform a damba dance, a dance of celebration for the rest of the people of this country also to observe their joy on a day like this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's receive the Damba dance with a big round of applause.
Right. First is the Damba dance, and then it will be followed by the Bill Flow dance. The Damba dance.
Thank you to them. We are prepared to receive the beautiful dance. getting ready to receive the beautiful dance as well. Mr. President, I'm told that this dance is the dance for a man, and it is a dance of joy to celebrate a man. And I'm told what you have done is to demonstrate to them what a man can do, and that's why they do this dance in celebration this afternoon here at the forecourt of the Jubilee House. 